the Sonic Unleashed recompiled project is out. This is an unofficial PC port of the game that brings all the features you could expect from a PC game. Higher resolutions, unlocked frame rate, ultra wide support, graphics settings and more. You no longer need to emulate the game. This is now the best way to play Sonic Unleashed on PC and this video will cover the installation setup step by step. So the project is available on this page of GitHub. I'll put the link on the description of the video. And I would recommend you to read through all of this. It has a bunch of information about it, including the minimal system requirements for this to work and just a bunch of questions in general that you might have. And to get the project, you're going to click here on releases. And on this page, we have the download option. This tutorial is for Windows PC. So this is the file you're going to get right here. So go ahead and click on this one to download and put this on the desktop of your PC. Next, if you are on Windows 10, we're also going to use 7-zip to extract the files that we need. You can also use this if you are on Windows 11, but Windows 11 has the extracting tool that you can use it just fine. But in my case, I'm going to get 7-zip. So go ahead and click on the download button and you're also going to drop this on the desktop of your PC. Now here on the desktop, if you are on Windows 10 for 7-zip, we're going to start with that. So double click on this file and this window will open. And all you got to do is just click on the install button. Wait a few moments and there you go. But like I said, if you are on Windows 11, you don't necessarily need this because you have the extracting tool from there. Now go ahead and click on close. And at this point, you can delete the 7z file. We're not going to need that anymore. So now on the recompile file, what you're going to do here is you're going to click with the right button of your mouse to bring up these options, then put your mouse on top of 7-zip, and then you're going to select this option, extract to and the name of the file so that all the files will be inside a folder. There you go. You're not going to have this with you. And at this point, you can delete the zip file. So now double click on this file to open and inside these are the files you're going to see with you. Now you have to double click on this application file to start. Now the setup window will open and in here you can select the language of the setup. I'm just going to keep mine at English. Click on next and then click on next once again. Now on this window, you're going to select the add files option if you have the game on the ISO format, which is what I have. So for this to work, you need to have the game files and the title update too. If you played this game on the emulator before, you are already familiar with these files, right? They are from the Xbox 360 version of the game and that's what we're going to use here. So we're going to start with the game file, double click on this one. And you're going to see that the game icon has popped up. Now you're going to do the same for the update. Click on add files. It's inside this folder for me and then double click on the update. And there you go. They're both lit. So you can now click on the next option. Now this is where you install the DLC and the DLC is not mandatory. It is optional and it is recommended that you install them because it includes high quality lighting textures to the base game. And the process is the same for the other files. You're going to click on the add files button and I have them inside the folder like this one. These are the actual files. They were inside these folders before. So I just took them out, but these are the ones you're going to need. And you can just select everything, press and hold the left button on your mouse like this, and then click on open. And they should all be lit up here as well. Now click on next. And there you go. Click on next once more. And now it will install the files. This shouldn't take too long. When it's done, you'll see this window. Now just click on next. And as such, the game will start. The main menu right here is where you access all the settings available for this here on options. And by the way, you can play this with a controller or your keyboard. And pretty much all the controllers are supported here from PlayStation and Xbox and even third party controllers as well. Here you have some settings for the system, the input, the controllers, that is the audio settings, and most importantly, the video settings. This is where you can change the resolution. If you want to increase that, if you want to increase the frame rate as well, 
this is where you can do that and also some graphical settings like anti-aliasing shadow resolution and more and it's pretty much done in a way that it looks like an actual pc game and it works pretty much just like that when you're done go back to the menu and if you didn't install the dlc previously you can do it now through this install button right here but i already have that in so i don't have to do it anymore and that's pretty much it now you can just start playing the game and have fun i already played it for about 30 minutes or so and it just works really well it looks really good the performance is also really good as well no more stuttering or anything like that it's just amazing whenever these unofficial pc ports come out you know so fantastic job from the team behind this i have many more tutorial videos like this on the channel so if you like what you saw don't forget to check out my other stuff subscribe to the channel leave a like on this video and as always, I'll see you soon.